We're going to take you back now to Washington, where Finance uh, Minister, Deputy Prime Minister Christopher Freeland is speaking now on if Russia should remain in the G20. Let's listen. The G20 should kick Russia out, and if so, what would the process be to do that? Yes, I do. Uh, and that is a view that was clearly expressed by all of our leading allies. Uh, in the meeting and in bilateral conversations, there was, Canada was very clear, and many of our partners were very clear that Russia does not have a place at the table of countries who have come together to maintain global economic prosperity and to maintain a global economy governed by rules. Uh, you can't be a poacher and a gamekeeper at the same time. Uh, you can't be violating probably the most fundamental principle, uh, which is in the UN Charter, which is the foundation of our ability as countries to work together. And that principle is you don't invade and try to take over another country. Having violated that principle and continuing to violate it with an ongoing war, it's impossible to talk about international collaboration, international cooperative efforts with Russia. And what is the process for that, though? We need to be clear, and we are, with Canadians and with each other that this is our view. I think the meetings this week were very important because it was an opportunity for a wide group of countries to talk about it in groups and bilaterally and also to make clear, as we did when we left the G20 meeting, when we left the IMFC plenary, that we simply will not be part of meetings while Russia is speaking.